Yo, I know it hasn't been that long, you know what I'm saying, that we've used this saying, which is, yo, I would love to be a fly on the wall in their house to hear everything that's going on in their house, that's going on in their family, right? You remember Big Mama used to say that? You remember aunties and uncles and all of that stuff? You know, they used to say that, in, you know, when we were younger. They used to say that all the time. I would love to be a fly on the wall. To hear all of this stuff that's going on with their family. And the reason why they used to say that all the time, I'm making a point here, hear me out. The reason why they used to say that all the time is because of the fact that back in the days, I know that this is not, you know what I'm saying, like normal now, but back in the days, Families used to keep family what? Secrets. Not true indeed. I'm not going to even lie. Sometimes those family secrets were kept, sec uh, you know, a secret and they shouldn't have been. You know, like Uncle Larry was touching, you know, little kids. His family, you know, his, his cousins and his, you know, his young nieces and nephews and stuff like that. You understand? So some, some of the time we kept secrets in the family so so much to the point where it there were times that we needed to say something in other words in this specific time right when dealing with dr york's children they need to keep their mouths closed i understand that there, there, there's been a lot of things that's happened that's happening that has that has happened you understand and it's cool for someone such as myself and others to talk about their own experiences as far as dealing with the cult called the Nuwabian Nation. It's also cool for people such as Leah York and uh, um, Jacob and um, 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 um Claire or um, Uma. I don't know her, her, like her rightful name, the one that was on Tahaka Bay. You know what I'm saying? More World TV. It's cool for them to talk about the organization or rather the cult. But once you start getting into personal affairs, family affairs, that needs to be excluded. Straight up. Like, let me tell you something. It's a guy, I don't, I forgot, I, I apologize if I don't remember your name, but you always make comments in the comment section talking about how, you know what I'm saying, you were there, you know what I'm saying, and you made the, some of the, some of the music for Dr. Malakazi York, etc. You know, you stayed, stayed on the land and, and all of that stuff, right? And you, you're saying that you want to get in contact with me or whatever. I wouldn't mind getting in contact with you. And if you want to tell your story, we're going to have to figure out a way how it could be told. I'm not a, like everybody else. I'm not into the whole thing of exposing and, and this whole drama thing and, and, and making it, you know, making it so that I could get a, a shitload of views and, and, and people could, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I'm in, into. I'm into reaching the people so that they won't make the same mistakes that I made or you. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, what I'm saying is that would I interview Leah York? Would I interview Jacob York? Would I interview um, Clau, uh, um, Uma or Um uh, um, York? If it weren't, if it's not about the organization, no. Because family affairs are family affairs. I have things that go on in my family. My immediate family. Right? And I'm not going to get on this damn uh, 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 camera and tell you all. Some of you all really think that you know me. Let me explain something to you. You only know what I tell you. Straight up. You wonder why this is a jewel. This is a gem. You wonder, you wonder how in the world does this person think he knows me or she knows me or whatever have you and blah, 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 blah. The reason why they think that they know you, right, is because you've been telling your business. And I'm not into that. So when I hear on Claire, I don't know how to kind of roll with the tongue with it. You know, you understand? It's Arabic. On Claire, you're like, yeah, you know, I ain't got that right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say um or umma. When I see Uma or Um, you know what I'm saying, York on Tahaka Bay, World, uh, excuse me, More World TV talking, and Jacob York, and then I cut that off, I see Sinetta and 
Leah York up there and Jacob York up there, I'm looking at that shit as nothing but a big ass circle. Circus, excuse me. That's the way I see it. I don't see it no other way. And true, I think that Tahaka Bay has somewhat of a sincerity to himself. You see what I'm saying? I think that he's he's really trying to, you know what I'm saying, reach people that's going through some something things that, that are similar to 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 what you know what I'm saying the cult has taken people through and as well as Dr. York, you know, and him being a child molester and fathering so many children. At the end of the day, it's still a big mess. It's still a big circus. You want to know why? Because this story is not going to be, it's not going to end. It's going to be a never ending situation. And the only people that actually are able to capitalize off this situation are your YouTubers. That's it. Where's the close you're going to be? When is it going to ever stop? Because guess what? Dr. York has over 100 children. I don't know what Leah York is talking about. I understand that she, she deals with numbers and all the rest of that stuff. But based on what the court has said, they have said that he has over 100 children. And numerous, no, a numerous amount of people have said. Now, whether they are blood children or not, whether he adopted them or whatever have you, I don't. I don't really know that. You understand? For for facts. But it is said that he has had over 100 children. When is it going to ever end? Because somebody could interview another child and another child and another child and another child and another child. And every child has their own perspective, opinion, etc. about her, their father and what went on in the organization. So now we have, let's just say for the sake of the conversation, 100 children that Dr. York has, has had, right? And... A hundred children has their own story. When is it going to ever end? When is there going to be any closure to this situation? You see, when I came out with Confessions of an ex Nuwabian, I was talking about uh, um, uh, uh, my point of view, my story, being a member. But let me explain something to you. If Dr. York was my father, like my physical father, I would have never said shit. I would have kept family business within the family. And if I couldn't figure it the fuck out, then guess what? Wouldn't nobody else know? Well, somebody like my friend or some shit like that. Other than that, I just don't understand how, how we got to this point where we're just airing everybody out. That, like this, this is, this, this, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to take this on some racism shit, you know, like straight up, but it's, this is some white shit. I'm, t I'm just being real with you. This is some white shit. Black people don't air out their business like that. This is some new shit that black people are starting to do. And it's just, it's, 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 it's sickening. And, and, and at the end of the day, like straight up, like, I'm just here to tell you, Leah York, Um, Claire, or Um, you know what I'm saying? Jacob, they all ha may have their own personal agendas. That's another thing too. They might be on line to you know what I'm saying? To get money. To um, use this as a marketing tool. To sell a product. I don't know. But I'm just saying for the sake of the conversation. Let's just say that they're sincere. And that they really want some type of closure. Right? Guess what? At the end of the day. You're not going to get it. You're just not. You're not going to get any of that. All you're going to get is in the comment section, this is entertaining. This is entertaining. This is entertaining. So people are looking at you as a form of entertainment. And I've said this a numerous of times that when you hear stories like this, this is the conscious community's version of love and hip hop and the soap operas. I'm telling you, this is my word. And I thought we left that shit alone when we walked out of so-called Babylon. When we became so-called woke. And I see that we haven't. Because I've, I've read in the comment section. Because I did look at the videos. You know what I'm saying? But, and, and, and I felt as though that it was, uh, it was being used as a tool. Until they started really, really getting deep inside. In, or rather into the family business. That's where I was like, you know what? The shit draws the line. I don't want to hear none of this shit. 
I don't want to hear none, nothing about what your father did to you or, or, or what your, your aunt, your sister, your brother, this, that, and so forth. Why? Because I wouldn't have never said anything. I would never air my family out like that, ever. Period. And I got a couple of niggas in my family that I could easily with the drop of the dime. Straight up. I got family members that's online right now that I could just straight air the fuck out. I've seen some fuckery go on with, with, with my family members. And I'm sitting here like online, on Facebook, Instagram, pictures, all the rest of that, videos. I'm like, damn. But I'm not going to sit here and air them out because they're my family. No matter how fucked up they are, and this is this is what I'm trying to try. This is the point that I'm trying to make to you. I know good and goddamn well. Listen, this this won't reach Leah York. I know this won't reach Um or Um Claire or Uma uh, York or Jacob York, and the rest of them. I know it's this this is not my channel is not big enough, and I'm more than sure when I say at the end of this video, I want y'all to share. Y'all ain't gonna share it, but at the end of the day, if it just so happens to reach them, right? Stop talking about your family. If they ain't worth shit, keep that within yourself. Other than that, let me tell you something. Now that people know that you may not like this person or that person, guess what they're going to do? They're going to use that against you. And that's the, that's the problem. People will see the weakness. They'll see the dent in your, your um, what is it, the, 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 in your armor. And they'll use that against you. I've learned a long time ago to shut the fuck up when it comes to family affairs. Plain and simple. The mother of my children had to remind me. But as of recently throughout these years, I've, sh I've kept my mouth closed. There's been a lot of shit that I've gone through. A lot. And had I came out and said something about it, oh man. Let me tell you something about it drama because news don't travel faster than drama well drama can be news you understand just depends on you know what way you look at it but it's nothing that fa travels faster than drama oh people will be quick to spread that shit around that i lost my job or this happened or that happened or you know i left this person or this person left me and blah 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 let me tell you something i can tell one of my family members right now Yo, da 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 da, and guess what? Two minutes later, they'll be calling some, some another family member will be calling me. Two minutes later, talking about, did you hear such and such? What? You heard about Langston? I am Langston. What the fuck? Let it be where a, a family member is in trouble. A family member needs money for 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 their business. That news don't travel at all. Period. We just need to stop being negative. And I'm not trying to be funny and, you know, say that 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 all white people gossip. But just just look at it. They're the ones that started this gossip and shit. They're the ones that started these soap operas and shit. Period. This ain't no black thing. Drama originally started from the white white people. And now it's just trickled trickled into our community, which makes no sense. We we've, we've never we are we we've never been known to run our mouths about whatever. So for those that sit back and say, well, you know, I don't understand how, you know, uh, these people that were child molesters did what they did in the family and got away with it. You know, I don't understand how we kept it a secret and this and that and so forth. Yes, there was some there was some negative there was some secrets that shouldn't have never been kept secret. A secret, excuse me. True, I'm not lying. I'm not. I'm not ruling that out. You understand? But it comes, it goes along with the territory. That black people don't never talk. They don't never say, like, in other words, what I'm saying is y'all be snitching. Learn how to take care of your family affairs off of the TV screen. Or off of the computer screen. Or off of your smartphone. Period. That's why you, you, some of you all that, 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 that fuck with me like that. You'll, you, you'll see, I, I don't know, I don't be about that drama shit, man. I'm not gonna bring anybody on my platform that, that, that's gonna be talking about their mother and their father and this and that. Let me explain something to you. Because I know some of you all that really fuck with me like that, you've heard me talk about my mother, my father, whatever have you. But it's it, it's within context. Like say for example, if I'm saying, if your friends and family, I, I did a video called, if your friends and family don't support them, support you, F them, right? 
And I said something about my mother and my father not supporting me. But you know what I said in that video? I said I love them. I love them. And I said at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If you're not supporting me, but you're still asking me questions about my life. Don't ask me questions. You, you don't have the... You don't have the... You, you don't have the authority to ask me about my life If you're not willing to help me You see what I'm saying It's like Well yo I asked my father Can I can I get a ride to work And you're like no He's like no Okay so don't ask me How did I get to work on Monday So it's within context And at the end of the day I'm really like Trying to relate And trying to get people You know what I'm saying To understand Like you don't necessarily have To fuck with your family Because of blood because that's an excuse You know what I'm saying You gotta put up with all of the bullshit Because we related And blood is thicker than water Water is what Without the, the element called water There wouldn't be blood Blood wouldn't even exist So you don't necessarily have to deal with the bullshit But this shit right here This is not a learning tool This shit has gotten out of hand And it's just pure gossip And just airing out everybody's business and for those people, some of those people, they don't want to know about their business. Like, like prime example, um, um Claire, like I, I got to get the roll of the tongue. You know what I'm saying? On Tahaka Bay, wor, excuse me, More World TV, she was like, yo, I'm going to play this recording. She played the recording, but she played it like she wanted the, re the recording to be played like further up instead of like she rewinded it. Some, she started off wrong, right? So she said something about Solomon being... Um, you know, touched. I don't want to use the R word or whatever. I'm not trying to get this video flagged. So she was like, oh, oh, oh my God, I, I didn't mean to play that. So now we know that Solomon, it's, it's a possibility that Solomon was touched. Now, for those that don't know who Solomon is, I'm assuming I may be 100% wrong, but Solomon was one of Dr. York's sons. And he was in he was in jail at one point in time. He got out. I know I don't know Solomon like that. I'm saying I've met him twice. I, I met him when he first got out of jail. Um, and then the second time is when I met him in the bookstore, the Raleigh, uh, North Carolina bookstore. So we I may, I may, I might think that Solomon is when she said Solomon was touched, I might have thought that she meant. Solomon, Dr. York's son. And it could have been someone else. Now, think about that. So I'm assuming that it's Solomon York's, Solomon York, Dr. York's son. And then I'm going to go and gossip to somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. And, and, and it's going to spread like wildflower. Fly, flower. You understand? So that's the point that I'm trying to make. Keep your family business to yourself. And if y'all can't figure it out, Within your circle, like it's a hundred of y'all. It's over a hundred of y'all. Y'all can't, y'all can't get it together. Y'all can't get it. Last time I seen, um, this couple years back, y'all had like a family reunion. I know it was about fifty of y'all. Y'all took a picture. Um, with besides, um, Prince York, there's another, um, 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 son. I forgot his damn name. He was, he was actually here in Charlotte, and I took a picture with him or whatever. We was about to do the bookstore, um, open the bookstore. Well, I ain't gonna say me. I was part of the bookstore in Charlotte with Aminette or Amintet now. You know what I'm saying? But saying, but he came down from Boston. He was, matter of fact, he was born in Boston. Looked just like Dr. York. I'm not lying. Split an image. With the exception of him being a little bit more shorter. You understand? And I, I went on his page. And that was a family reunion. He was there, whatever have you. I don't even know if Prince York was in that, that, that picture. But it was about 50, 60 of them. Y'all managed to get together for a, 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 a reu family reunion or a cookout or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Manage to get together to, to handle your family affairs. At the end of the day, we don't need to hear that shit online. We just don't. If it's not about the organization and the people that's, that's in the organization and how it was ran and how Dr. York ran the organization, then nothing needs to be said. Y'all talking about clearing names and all the rest of that shit. Ain't nobody take you to court. You don't have to defend yourself for what? A bunch of people, listen, let me tell you something. One thing I learned about this shit, people gonna believe what they wanna believe, regardless, I'm telling you. You can sit here and tell, tell the truth all day, but let me tell you something, if the truth is dull and a lie is very colorful, the people are gonna run with the, the, the lie, straight up. 
So I'm just saying, you know, you trying to defend yourself online, it's just, it's, yo, it's, it's not a good look. You want to know why? Because the people that are looking at at your videos, you know what I'm saying, looking at Sinetta or looking at uh, More World TV or whoever interviews you, if you're a York, you know what I'm saying, if you're a son or daughter of, of Dr. York, the, the, the people that you're, you're, that, that's looking at your video, they don't care about that shit. They just want to be entertained. And let me tell you something else. They don't care about you and they just want to be entertained. But if they had some family business that needed to be aired out, aired out, they would never go to Sinetta. They would never go to More, More World TV to talk about their shit. Never. So while while they're looking at your shit and they, they're laughing or they're they crying you know what I'm saying? Are they empathetic? Are they don't give a fuck? At the end of the day, it's entertainment to them. And they're saying in the back of their minds, well, shit, I don't know why she would do that or he would do that because I wouldn't do it. Nobody went there out their family business and their family affairs to, to, to the world. Especially on Sinetta TV. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Tahaka Bay, more world TV is debatable. You know, but especially on Sinetta TV. Yo, let me say this real quick. I had an opportunity to be on Sinetta TV. He probably deny it. I wish I kept the text, you know what I'm saying? Where we text back and forth. But I had an opportunity to be on um on Sinetta TV, Black News 102, when I first came out with um the video called Um Breaking the Spell of Dr. York. I didn't come out with Confessions of the Ex Nuwabian then. You know what I'm saying? Right after that, like a year later, I came out with it. But when I did Breaking of the Spell, Breaking the Spell of Dr. Dr. Malakazi York, um, Sinetta got in contact with me. And, you know, he was like, yo, you know, I want you to be on, you know, Sinetta TV, this and that and so forth, tell your story, blah, 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 blah. And I was like on some shit like, yo, you know, you needed to let people know I'm an author. I want, I want to definitely push and promote myself. You understand? Because you're not gonna, you're not gonna exploit me. That's the way I felt about the situation. And that's the way I feel about most of the people that get up there and, you know, sincerely have a testimony. And they want to, you know, help change people. They want to make people aware. But these YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? These bloggers, they have ill intentions. And their intentions is, is really to exploit the person that, that they're interviewing. You understand? So you got to be very careful with that situation. At the end of the day, truth be told, man, people don't give a fuck whether who's right or who's wrong. What people really care about is just drama. Drama is, is entertaining. It, And you know another thing, too, what I learned, too, about drama? Other people's drama. You see other people, you hear other people's drama. It takes the burden off of you. Like, you're going through some shit, but you start comparing the shit like, damn, glad I ain't going through that shit. But you're going through some shit just as similar. You understand? So, my advice is to you all, you know what I'm saying, all of the, the Yorks, you know what I'm saying, the sons and daughters of York, you know, stay off. Stay off um, the television and, you know, the blogs and, the, you know, the computer, you know, screen and the the laptops and the smartphones handle your business off camera that plain and simple because if um if i had any family affairs or family business that i had to handle i definitely wouldn't broadcast it to um especially in this particular situation being that your father serving 135 years and the charges that you know are against him you know what i'm saying um I definitely, definitely wouldn't be uh, online, especially on Sinetta's platform. 